Okay, pool players for episode 30, we have a 25 degree cut, bottom of the second ball. Let's go ahead and get started. Angle here, we're on the six eighths line, uh, rail increment line. We're going into the bottom of the seven, the bottom of the second ball towards the six ball, okay? So the cue ball tra trajectory is usually this direction. I'm gonna hit this with a half tip below center with a full stroke. Okay, pool players, as you can see, this rack opens up very nicely. Nice wide open spread, one small cluster in the middle. Let's see about how we attack the rest of it. Okay, that's a pretty good result. I avoided the scratch, came a little lower than I usually like, but uh, I'm happy with the results, so I'm not gonna complain too much. I had the 10 ball or the nine ball. Looks like the seven's a potential uh, break shot for the next rack. I'm gonna play the 10 because if I can get on this 11, I can push the two over to the other side and I'll have a pocket. So I wanna get rid of this 10 ball. It's a little bit problematic. Uh, I'll play shape on the eight or the one. Okay, I have both balls as options. I'm gonna roll up for the three ball. I'm going to keep the three balls insurance so that when I hit the two, I'm okay. So I'm going to uh, play more of a stop shot and play position on the 11. Now, when I play the 11, I'm going to hit the two and I'm going to use draw so I have shape on the 14 as well. I kept the three just in case, but I got a good angle where I can clip the two, draw back, and I'll have shape on the 14. My last uh, thing that I need to address is really the three ball cluster with the 15, the 13, and the six. And you can see if I come underneath, uh, anywhere around here on the 12, I can go into that 15 and I'll have the nine or the two. Okay, so I really wanna get like right around here would be ideal. Obviously I don't wanna get stuck behind the nine, so I'll guard against that. I'm good at the rail and backup, guys. I don't want to be jacked up. Okay, that's pretty good. I can go right into that 15. I should splash the six ball should go this direction. 13 should go this direction. I should have the whole rack solved after this. two or the nine. Okay, I'd like to use the eight to get on to the uh, three ball. I'd like to use the nine to get on to the 15 or the two. I'm gonna play the nine. I'd like to get straight on the eight, and if I don't have the eight, then I'll play the three. Okay, I'll, I'll have the eight, the three, or the 15 here. That's what I'm playing for. Looks like I got pretty good on the three or the eight or the two. Hey guys, I'm not really seeing that much value in the two, so I'm gonna use the two to get on the, uh, ooh, I see a nice pattern now. Okay, so if these balls are gone, the three to the six to the eight to the 13 leads me nicely for the seven. So I'd like to get rid of the two and the 15 and then play the three. I'm going to draw back to the 15. Okay, I did not hit that well. So now I'm going to use the 15 to get on the 13. So I'm going to go 3, 6, 8, 15, 13. It's a shame I had such a nice pattern there. If I would have just gotten high enough on this uh, 15 ball.
Too hairy, guys. I'm gonna play the the 13, 6, 8, 15. It's not a bad key ball. I, I just saw a really nice pattern uh, that I could have had. One end around the middle of the table, guys. Okay, straight pole fingers, this concludes episode 30. I hope you guys had some fun with this one as well. Uh, this rack had a little bit of tricky um, pattern play, only because the balls were oriented in a little bit of a, a unique fashion. Could have possibly gotten rid of the three ball earlier, might have made that uh, pattern a little more obvious. Um, but overall, a successful uh, attempt. Hope you guys were successful at home or in your pool holes, and uh, have a great day or night, and I'll see you guys next angle. Thank mm -hmm. you.